All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kurash, the bonus to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all that I can push his word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name of the word and he calls Jesus and Racha Kurash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and uh, Jacob. Um, and, and as always, on a brother, you're dire from the Great Stone Branch out of Chicago, and I'm back at you another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, Part of My Land, uh, Israeli-Gaza Conflict. You see, and uh, we're just going to get straight into it. It says, uh, this is from uh, Wikipedia, it says the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, it says, is one of the world's most enduring conflicts beginning in the mid 20th century. Various attempts have been made to resolve the conflict as part of the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, alongside other efforts to resolve the broader Arab-Israeli conflict. <laughs> it says public declarations of claims. It's like you. To a Jewish homeland in Palestine, including the first Zionist Congress of 1897 and a Balfour Declaration of 1917, created early tensions in the region. It says, following World War I, the mandate for Palestine included a binding obligation for the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. And um, that alone shows you that these people that are in the land of Israel are not the true Israelites. You see, here it is, you know, the, uh, they had to, uh, it was, they, they had a bow for a declaration and, uh, physical documents, paper, pen to pad, <laughs> you know, um, to, they, that they used to basically claim rights to the land. And they described to you that when we go back to the land, the true Israel, Isaiah, the second chapter and, uh, Micah, the fourth chapter, that there's going to be peace on earth. It's not going to be any wars. Right. It says uh, tensions grew into sectarian conflict between Jews and Arabs. The 1947 United Nations partition plan for Palestine was never implemented and provoked the 1947 and 1949 Palestinian war. Uh, Isaiah 2. And one, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain, the government of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. Speaking of that, uh, of our government, you know, it's going to be above these other nations. It says, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall go and come ye. It's like you. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob. So these other nations are going to come up to us, to our land, and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. You see, so when the true Israelites are in power, these nations are going to come up to Jerusalem to learn the law, statutes, commandments, to learn <laughs> uh, righteousness. You see, not sitting here uh, conflicting and bombing. The scriptures say that Israel shall dwell alone safely. It says, uh, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. They're going to hey, turn their uh, their weapons and their uh, nukes and, and, and so forth. They're going to turn those into uh, plowshares, which are farming uh, architectural, argue, uh, argue tech. It's like I fumbled on a word, but uh, farming tools, essentially, it says and their spears and the pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And that's a plain cut to this whole thing or whatever, you see. But it says um, the United Nations partition plan for Palestine was never implemented and provoked the 1947 and 1949 Palestinian war. The current Israeli-Palestinian status quo began following Israeli military occupation of the Palestinian territories in 1967 six day war. And uh, this is a uh, Gaza Strip because you got a lot of uh, a lot of trouble going on over there, a lot of war. 
It says a Gaza Strip or simply Gaza is a Palestinian exclave of the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea, the smaller of the two Palestinian territories. It borders Egypt on the southwest for 11 kilometers and Israel on the east and north along a 51 mile uh, border. But point being, hey, you have what they just said, so-called Jews and uh, the Arabs uh, fighting over a land that is neither one of theirs. You see Ezekiel 36 and verse one, it says, also thou son of man prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith Yahweh power, because the enemy have said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. You see, and hey, that's a prophecy in the end time. The a a the true a the uh, a is the prophecy say uh Jerusalem show uh, matter of fact uh Luke twenty one and twenty four and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations speaking of us and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles the other nations until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled be fulfilled. You see, so it's other nations in our land, according to the prophecies. It says, thus saith Yahweh, back in Ezekiel 36 and uh, 1, it says, because the enemy have said against you, aha, even the ancient high, I'm so like, I'm at verse uh, 2 in the middle of it. It says, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. The, hey, we claim we, hey, we got your land. Therefore, prophesy and say, thus saith Yahweh power, because they have made you desolate. That you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and our land, and swallow you up on every side, side devoured us, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. Ye are taken up in the lips of the, of talkers, and are an infamy of the people. And it says the same thing in Lamentations. These other nations laughed at us. It says, and with their uh, their uh, song, it says, therefore ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh power. Thus saith Yahweh power to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and a derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. And as we got moved out of our land and, and spread into these other nations, the other nations crept into our the, the other heathen, they crept into our land and they been uh, battling back and forth between it. It says, therefore, thus save you how it's like it. Therefore, thus save you how power surely in the fire of my of my it's like it. It says, uh, therefore, thus save you how power surely in the fire of my jealousy. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do me? I do me is the Greek way of saying Edom. Edom is the self-proclaimed white man which have appointed my land, the land of Israel and to their possession with the joy of all their heart with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So hey, the Lord just told you that heathens, chiefly Esau, have parted his land and cast out his people. You see, I just want to make sure there's nothing extra up in that Ezekiel 35. Yeah, there's some more, but the point was made on that. You see, so hey, you got a hey, hey, you got uh, the Arabs, which means mix. You got Ishmael, a little bit, everybody over there. You got three different so-called religions. You got uh, Judaism, uh, uh, Islam, and Christianity over there, and that's idolatry. But that's supposed to be the Holy Land. You got white stake over there, which is pork, but those are supposed to be the holy people. Zechariah nine and six, and a bastard, and they the old. Uh, I believe we go into etym etymology of this word. The Elder Malcolm brings it out a lot. It goes into illegitimate, a fake, a phony. Shall dwell in Ashdod. And Ashdod, I believe, is uh, Tel Aviv. Yeah, I believe it's Tel Aviv, which is a uh, over there in the land of Israel. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines, you see? So hey, hey, you have, <laughs> as that article mentioned, you have a conflict over there because ultimately the, the true people are not in the land. That land doesn't belong to you, uh, you Arabs, you, uh, you Ishmaelites or whoever else may be mingled, you know, mixed with with y'all. And it damn sure don't belong to you, uh, <laughs> you small hats. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and verse three. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers, both those old inhabitants of thy holy land. And when you go into it, um, that land was the land of Canaan and you had different uh different uh sons of ham uh nation not nations but different uh ba basically descendants of ham 
in the land doing all manner of wickedness. It says, both those old inhabitants of the Holy Land whom thou hatest for doing the most odious works of witchcraft. So the Lord, it was the Lord's will to give us that land. That land was always ours. It says, whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices. And also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of men's flesh and feast of blood, which is the things that they were doing there, which is why the Lord cast them out with their priests out of the midst of their idolatrous crew and their parents that killed with their own hands, souls destitute of, of help. It says that the land which thou esteemest above all over Jerusalem, which is above all is free, might receive a worthy colony of God's children, which are the Israelites. You see, so that land always have been the Israelites. This is a uh, numbers. Well, you can keep going. Genesis 9 and 25, it says, and he said, curse. This was going into uh, this was Noah, uh, you know, after he had rested after the ark was uh, after 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 the Lord uh, basically uh, unflooded the earth, you know. Uh, he got off the ark and he made a vineyard and he got drunk and his son Ham came and looked at him naked. Ham being a progenitor of the Africans, right? It says, and he said, curse be Canaan, which was a son of uh, Ham, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, blessed be Yahweh power of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant. The most high shall enlarge Japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant. So a, the a Canaan was cursed. Ultimately, he was he was going to be that servant under Jacob, you know, and we was going to take his land. According to the scriptures, which is the will of the Lord, Leviticus 18 and 24, defile not yourselves, defile ye not. It's like you defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these things, the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. And a lot of the law was written because of uh, the uh, manners of the people that was around us. Right. It. Those are freaky ass Hamites. It says, and the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomit, vomit out her inhabitants. Speaking about the speaking about our land. And the Lord said, hey, their iniquity hey, hey, is time for them to get judged for it. It says, ye shall therefore keep my statues and my judgments and, sh and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither shall any of your own nation nor a stranger that's a joining among you. So the Lord cast those old inhabitants out for their wickedness that they were doing. You know, they were just temporary in that land until the true colony of God's children come through. It says, uh, came through and conquered them according to the heavenly father. Verse 27, it says, for all these abominations have the men of the land done, which were before you. That wisdom of Solomon said, sacrifices, men, flesh, all manner of wickedness. It says, for all these abominations have the men of the land done, which were before you and the land is defiled. You see? So the Lord told us, look, don't do what they doing because they finna get judged for it. They finna get kicked out of it for it. It says that the land spew not you out also when ye defile it as it spewed out the nations that were before you. You see, so hey, that is our land. You see, uh, this is Numbers 34 and 1. And then I'm going to show this uh, map. It says, and Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, command the children of Israel and saying to them, when you come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for inheritance, even the land of Canaan with the coast thereof. You see, so this is the uh, this is our inheritance, our lot, our portion, our estate that we're going to receive. When uh, we made it to the Holy Land, it says, when you come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for inheritance, even the land of Canaan with all the coast thereof. And as you see the borders right here. In that area, you have Gaza right there. <laughs> you know, that's all Israel's. It says, then your south, verse three. Then your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zen along the coast of Edom. And your south border shall be the outmost coast of the salt sea eastward. And you can pull up the chart to, you know, look at look at these specific borders. And your border shall turn from the south to the accents of Akram, Akrabim, and pass on to Zin. And a going forth thereof shall be south from Kadesh Barnea and shall go into Hazaradur and pass on to Asmon. And a border shall fetch a compass from Asmon unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of it shall be at the sea. And as for the western border, you shall even have the great sea for a border. 
This shall be your west border and this shall be your north border and the great sea. ye shall point out for, for you Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Hamath and going forth of the border shall be to Zedad. And a border shall go to Zeph Zephron, and the goings out of it shall be at Hazrania. This shall be your north border. So these are the borders, the boundaries of the land of Israel, which the children of Israel at that time uh, were going to receive, which uh, Joshua, the successor of Moses, the one that came after Moses, uh, delivered us into the land. Hence his name. <laughs> it says, and the coach shall go from Shef Shephem to Riblah, on the east side of Adon, and a border shall descend and shall reach unto the side of the sea of Chenereth eastward. And a border shall go down to Jordan and the goings out of it shall be at the salt sea. And this shall be your land with the coast thereof round about. You see, so when you go into it, you know, that's a pretty accurate depiction of the uh, borders. So this all was the inheritance of the children of Israel. But yet you have a Esau. <laughs> uh, Ishmael and all other manner of heathens in that land. And, and the main two, the Arabs and the uh, small hats, a uh, fighting over it, which it belongs to neither one of them. Amos 1 and 6, thus saith Yahweh, for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they carried away the captivity. It's like they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. And they Hey, the Arabs, along with the uh, Hamites, um, gathered us up and sold us to Esau. It tells you that in uh, Joel, the third chapter, we're going to get that next. It says to deliver them up to Edom. But I will send a fire upon the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces thereof. And I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod and him that holdeth the scepter from Ashkelon. And I will turn my hand against Akron and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish. And a Philistines goes and goes back into uh I got it right here actually. Oh well, Palestine goes back into uh Philistine. It says from Latin Palestinia, name of a Roman province, from Greek Palestinia, Herodotus, from Hebrew, uh Philistia, land of Philistines. And hey, who's in that land right now? You know, you got the Arabs calling themselves Palestinians. It says in Josephus, the country of the Philistines extended under Roman rule to all Judea and later to Samaria and Galilee. But uh, going back into this, uh, Amos 1 and verse 7, it's like 1 and verse uh, 9, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, you Hamites, you Africans, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom and remembered not the brotherly covenant. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the palaces thereof, Thus saith Yahweh for three transgressions of Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, continually looking to destroy us. For his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send a fire upon Teman, which shall devour the palaces of Basra. You see, so the Lord is going to bring judgment for what you've done unto his people. You're fighting over a land that's not yours. You know, that you appointed into your own hands. Joel 3 and 1, for behold, in those days and at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, the Lord is going to hey, hey, take us out of slavery. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat over there in the Middle East and will bring them there for my people and for my heritage, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. The Lord is going to burn your armies over there in the Middle East. Why? Because you scatter his people amongst the uh, four corners of heaven and you appointed the Holy Land unto yourself and they have been doing all manner of wickedness. It says, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. You put us in a, a triangular slave, uh, triangular slave trade. You uh, sold our men for uh, women. It's like you sold our uh, you. Uh, you did some wickedness, man. You uh in a in a movie uh Goodbye Uncle Tom, it was a scene where you had so called Africans, but those were Israelites, Ju uh, Judites. You had them um basically in this little stall with 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 silver and gold sprinkled on them, and they were selling them for harlots, literally. And so the girl for wine that they might drink, 
Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine, Palestine, you Hamites and you Arabs? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? You can't buy your way out of this ass whooping. Hey, all these nations are going to pay because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. Hey, those Grecians, hey, who calls themselves Greeks now? The self-proclaimed white man, although they're not the original Greeks. It says, you have sold unto the Grecians that you might remove them far from their border. You see, behold, I will raise them out of the place whither you have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. The Lord's going to come save us and put you all in captivity. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians. To a people far off for you, how would have spoken it? You see, so hey, we're gonna hey, all that uh Joe uh so like a Jeremiah 30 and 16, all that prey upon thee, the Lord's gonna make them a prey. Uh Revelation 13. He that leadeth to captivity shall go into captivity. Here's the faith and the patience of the of the saints. You see, roughly paraphrasing, but hey. Um, I feel like the point has been hit. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Hawaka Kurash. The bonus to the elder and elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the I can push this word with true charity and with charity. Shalom, Barakatham, Wa Baba Baal, Kwam Yashallah.